Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got another unboxing of this little phone called the Unihertz Atom. I backed this on Kickstarter a while ago, and I think I paid less than the current price that they're selling it for, which looks like about $260 on Amazon. And what this is is a little Android phone, uh, and it is ruggedized, so it's really tiny, and it should survive a decent amount of abuse. So we're going to unbox it here, and then we're going to have a full review on my main channel at lon.tv. And they weren't kidding. This thing is really tiny. Look how small this thing is. Uh, and again, it's a full Android phone in a very, very tiny yet ruggedized package. And we're going to boot it up here. I don't think the, oh, I guess the battery is charged. So we'll take a look and see uh, what that screen looks like as it boots up. Looks like it comes with a screen protector here in the box. We can dig a little bit deeper here as well. And we have the power adapter. Now, they're saying on Amazon that this works on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. I was surprised to see Verizon included in that list because typically these phones don't support uh, Verizon. So I'm going to test that in the full review to make sure. But I definitely would say it would work with AT&T and T-Mobile. Most of these devices do. Uh, here's the power adapter, and here is the USB cable that plugs into it. I believe this is not a USB Type-C connector. And I would, oh, I'm incorrect. I'm sorry. It does have USB-C. This is kind of checking a lot of boxes here. Uh, now, what's really interesting about this phone is that it has uh, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage as well. So it's actually a pretty decent uh, device here. Uh, I am not sure how well it's going to accept keyboard input, though, because it's got very, very tiny uh, screen size here. But it looks like I'm able to maybe type, eh, maybe not so much here. It's going to be hard to type in everything here. So it's going to be kind of hard to type on this. Maybe you can rotate it this way and get a little bit of a better chance with it. But this might be where it falls short is on text input. So this will be something I think you'll be doing a lot of uh, audio input with. But that is it. It's all contained here. I believe it's waterproof to some degree. We'll get the full specs going on the uh, full review, and it's running 8.1 Oreo. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more on this on the main channel at lon.tv, but it does look really, really cool. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Anuj Zaveri and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.